Hello Mouses! It's been a couple of days since I posted the video because the research that's going to go into this next series of videos has taken quite a while. It's all about the law of the United Kingdom as it applies to Batman, specifically the Batman from Batman Begins. We'll move on to other films later on because I'm going to do this as a series every now and again. But today we're focusing on Batman specifically on his vigilante behaviour. Roll VT! <laughs> Okay, the first thing we have to do is decide whether his patrolling the streets looking for crime is actually a crime in and of itself. Now, the laws of the United Kingdom are specifically set up so that unless there is a law that says you can't do something, you are able to do it. So basically, when people say there's no law against it, that is actually how our legal system works. If there's no law that specifically prohibits something, you are able to do it. It's called a negative law system. You're allowed to do something unless specifically that right is taken away. Now here's the fun part. There's no law that says you can't patrol the streets looking for crime. It is actually something that some people do. They go around dressed in costumes because they like superheroes and they patrol for crime and then they call in to the police to report it. The neighbourhood watch system, everything like that, that is all based on the fact that people can patrol the streets looking for crime. So Batman can go about patrolling on his nightly prowls, that's fine, perfectly fine, but what if he's wearing a costume, which he does because he wants to protect his identity? Well, that's where he's going to start getting a few problems. You see, under English law, which is the law of England and Wales only, Scotland and Northern Ireland have their own legal systems, there is no actual prohibition against wearing a mask and wearing a costume while out and about. You're perfectly fine to do that. You can cover your face. We're, it's, we're one of the few European countries that hasn't banned burkas, for example. Face coverings, that's fine. So, unless Batman is thinking about going and trying to make a deposit into his local bank, he's probably going to be alright. Unless the police are around. Section 40 of the Terrorism Act 2000 states specifically that the police can ask you to remove anything that's on your face that is disguising your identity. Basically, the police have the power as part of their stop and search abilities to determine whether you are who you say you are and whether you are a wanted person. So they can ask you to remove a face mask and if he doesn't, that's a criminal offence. So basically Batman's fine unless the police are there and ask him to take his hat off, in which case he's in a bit of a problem. So let's just assume that he's out on his patrol and the police aren't around asking him to take his mask off, but he sees a criminal. Either someone who he knows has just committed a crime because he saw it, or he knows he's about to commit a crime, or is in the process of committing a crime. Any of those three is fine. What if he wants to arrest them? Surely he has no power, he's a private citizen. Section 24A of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984 specifically allows the members of the public to make arrests where there is a crime in process, a crime has been committed, or a person appears to be about to commit a crime. But they can only do it if it isn't more reasonable for a police officer to make the arrest instead. So in a situation where there's no police there, Batman can apprehend and detain people who he thinks have committed a crime, or have committed a crime, or are committing a crime at the time. So great. What if they resist? And they will. Well, that's fine too, because although the newspapers have for many years said that people are getting sued for trying to defend themselves, Britain does have rather nice self-defence rules. If a person tries to resist arrest, you can use reasonable force to defend yourself and to keep them in place until the police arrive. That's the good thing. So Batman can restrain people, even if they fight back, and he can fight them back if he thinks he's in danger. But that's the problem. You've got to remember Crown versus Martin. That familiar case to anyone who was in Britain where a farmer shot a burglar in the back while the burglar was running away and the courts decided that that wasn't really a reasonable use of force and that's where a lot of the problems that we have with the media come from at the moment where they're saying oh you have to be careful because you have to be nice to criminals. No you don't. If they're attacking you and look like they're going to kill you you can use lethal force. That's self-defense. If they're attacking you and it looks like all they want to do is get you off them so they can run away you can't use lethal force. But that's fine, because Batman doesn't want to kill anyone. So, as long as he doesn't go overboard with his use of force, he'll be fine. But that's the problem with Batman, because he does often go overboard. We could do an entire video on Batman's use of force, but we won't go into that too much. All we're going to say here is he has some gadgets that he probably shouldn't have. Specifically, Batarangs and his grappling hook. 
because those will unfortunately count as concealed weapons. He keeps them under his cloak. Sometimes he has them in his utility belt where you can't see them. Depends on which depiction of Batman we're going on about here. So, he has concealed weapons. Concealed weapons are illegal in Britain and have been since 1953, where Section 1 of the Prevention of Crime Act 1953 specifically states anything that could be used as a weapon and is concealed by your person can't be carried. And oh, actually, anything that could be used as a weapon or has been modified to be used as a weapon is illegal to carry anyway, regardless of whether you've hidden it or not or you're waving it about in the air, especially if you're waving it about in the air because that's a public nuisance. So Batman's in a bit of trouble there. He can't use his gadgets to detain people. He can't use his gadgets to question people, which we're going to come on to in another video. But he can use his fists, his feet, his head, whatever. So for the most part, when you see Batman, he's beating up on people. That's actually not bad. As long as they were attacking him or trying to resist arrest, that's fine. So in conclusion, for the most part, Batman's vigilante activities are actually legal in Britain, which is quite good. So, you can go around in your cape and your mask, jumping across rooftops is probably out of it, and we'll get on to why in a later video, but patrolling the streets, that's fine, as long as you obey the traffic laws in your big car, which is another video in itself, you will be amazed how illegal Batman's car is. So, and detaining criminals, that's fine. So, for now, if you're Batman, you're safe for your patrols, and we'll get on to everything else later. Until then, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson, you've been watching about the law, I'll see you next time.